Tekken server tutorial for the new Tekken server well Tekken update first of all obviously you want to go to t uh, the Technic Pack website to search Tekken or Technic into Google go into the Tekken tab and download the Tekken server 3.1.2 which shouldn't take long mine's taken a while but I will you basically want to create a new folder on the desktop called server or tech it server so that you know which is it and then when the downloads done which I'll skip to now yeah sorry about that well I skipped I would have skipped it in the editing but yeah, when you've downloaded that, open it up in either WinRAR or WinZip. I'm using WinRAR, and you should get this. You want to open your folder that you made on your desktop and just extract everything to it. It shouldn't take long again. There we go. And you can close the target server zip as well and then use the launch dot part to double click it and if it says um, it'll say error occurred during initializing initialization of VM could not was even a f space for object to keep error could not create the Java virtual machine fail exception has occurred program with ex will exit to press any key and I will post this message into well I'll put this message in the description but you want to copy and paste it I'll copy it right click the launch top part edit and then just paste it in and save that and then launch the server again <coughs> sorry about if I cough or snivel I've got a cold but yeah when this is done you should get all these like op.txt server properties bucket stuff like that whitelist which if you don't know what it is I'll tell you about it in a sec but when the servers in the spawn area you wanna stop it after all this sorry about the wait So yeah, you want to just type stop in, which is the safe way of closing down your server. Just closing it may not actually save it where you had it and it will set you back to a certain time before when it did automatically saved it. But yeah, while well that's shutting down, press any key after that and go into your server dot properties and the allow nether you want to basically but there's true or false depending on whether or not you want the nether on level name you can change that but yeah just keep it as world if you want to allow query query oh, I don't know what that is but f I always keep it as false allow flight you should want to make that true so that you can use the swift wolf swing and stuff like that to fly around anyway, the silver port is 25565 shouldn't change that level type you can change that to super flat if you want to but I don't think anybody would not take it uh, enable R can't keep that false level seed if you've got a seed put that in the server IP you basically want to if you're using Hamachi it will be this IP the 5.72.31.29 but I'm going to use my own IP the max build height 256 spawn NPCs true or false whitelist true or false spawn animals true or false again all these are true or false but you can choose what you want online mode is where you want to keep that as true unless one of your friends is using the 
cracked Minecraft and they can't get onto online servers. If you just make that false, they can get in. PvP, two are false to turn it on or off. Difficulty, one is easy, two is normal, three is hard. Game mode is zero, is survival, one is creative mode, and two is adventure mode. Um, max players is however many people you want on the server at once. Spawn monsters again, true or false, you can take them off if you want. Generate structures like villages, things like that. And then view distance, you want to keep that to 10, but if your server lags out because you don't have enough RAM for people, just set it down to like 5 or 7. And then the MOTD is just message of the day. So just keep it as a Minecraft server if you want. But then save that and close it down. And then when you launch the server again, you should it should just start. And then yeah, when that's loaded up, you can log in through Tagit. Which I'll do now. It should just go through all these messages like loading all the mods and if you get any like error messages or anything post it in t as a comment and I'll try and help you out if I can and yeah I'll also give you a like I'll help you out on the not enough items to stop you accidentally spawning in items if you want to play legit which I did in my last vi uh, tech it tutorial which is basically you can disable uh, whether or not you can spawn in items but you can't do it for other people's so you have to yeah do it to your own tech it and hope that your friends do it without just spawning in items but yeah you can always just turn on the whitelist and make it so that they can't join unless you want them to of course but yeah in the server when mine loads up my computer is really slow when I'm recording sorry about that to people who are watching but I'll try and cut out any bits that take too long Right, yeah, when you're on Tech It, just go to multiplayer and type in your IP. I've got I've got an outward bound IP, so mine's different to the one I have. One I posted in well into the server dot properties. But yeah the server just to show you that the server's up, I'll join it. I've port forwarded my server as well, well Minecraft so that I don't have to use Hamachi but if you guys want to use Hamachi you can of course but yeah if you go into your inventory on the bottom left you see options and you've got like none of items enabled, disabled global options, world options, Minecraft layout and things uh, you can always have it like old too many items lay out like this but in the minecraft layout I prefer it item subset stuff like this real time search enabled which is at the bottom there you can search for torches I spelled it wrong <laughs> if you want and if you left click it I've got it on it's on cheap mode so it should have spawned that in I'm not an op at the moment actually 
but yeah if you left click on it it will spawn in uh, in the item as I'll show I'll up myself if I left click on the torch now I'll get 64 of them apparently not hmm Oh well, <laughs> never mind then, but you can basically, if you change it to the recipe mode, if you click it, it will show you how to create the item rather than spawning it in. I don't know why it's not spawning it in. I got into a capital S. But don't think that matters. If you put it back to cheap mode. No, uh, I don't know why it's not working, but it normally should spawn in the item for you. But yeah, that's how to stop it, just options, recipe mode, done. And then yeah, and then yeah, just, that is a Tech It Server uh, tutorial for 3.1.2 and this is Steve from Rainbow Sheep Productions saying goodbye.